so we have attraction and release the x yeah it's such a like i really feel this energy like you walked away from something and now you're focused on something else right you're again this attraction to me is, it feels very yolo you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so we have new love so a, a lot of you to me this new love is fresh this is fresh and it may not be a love. It just may be someone you're attracted to. Again, the YOLO vibration. Like, I'm here to kind of, I just want to date, meet people. And I feel this could be, for some of you, this could be multiple partners. Like, dating multiple people, right? So, let's just get into your read, Scorpio. But this X energy is here, right? This is what I'm saying. So the time has come to clear energy. Your energy is not completely clear. This is what I'm trying to say. Although you're setting this tone, the energy is still lingering within your energy. So let's see what else we've got in the main spread. everybody so we've got the hierophant which is our uh, wisdom in this deck we've got accelerated motion which is the eight of wands so definitely a lot of change partnership and alliance i feel this is just you you know what's interesting about this three of wands you're looking ahead you're looking forward but in this case in this deck is partnership lounge you are connecting with people but there's a level of detachment with this energy, right? But then here goes the three of cups. So there this goes, there goes the emotional attachment. Wow, three, three, three. Three, three, three. Three of wands, three of cups, and three of pentacles. You're definitely aligning here. And three in this deck is also the solar plexus. So you're rejuvenating your life force. That's what's happening here, Scorpio. Your life force is getting activated. And I feel all this searching and change and energy change. And then Hierophant, it's about your belief system, stuck energy. You're getting unstuck. Or you're working towards getting unstuck here. So give me more of this Hierophant. I just see yep, seven of pentacles king of cups you're working on getting emotionally unstuck seven of pentacles and there goes that nine of wands to me that's that flirty energy you're not always the healthiest scorpio but engaging in and putting your emotion you're just shifting your focus right and you're engaging in other connections to revamp your energy and to shift your focus and to redirect this, the way you planted yourself prior, right? So there's a lot of, this is a work in progress is how it feels to me. And it's fine because for some reason, I do feel like it's elevating your life force. So if this is what you feel you need to do to really shift things within yourself to create this eight of wands energy change, positive change or movement of some sort to get you going and emotionally unstuck from this past energy and it's something you need to do you're gonna learn everything teaches us something you know so either way you're gonna learn something about yourself here so give me more of this accelerated motion two of wands the chariot more progress and six of wands yeah either way it's really it's a decision and you're determined for this change you're recognizing patterns probably about yourself you're it's showing you different things i think it's it's putting you in a position to see things a lot more clear it feels we have three of cups again here in the bottom. So again, it's who you're connecting with. I think your connections are showing also yourself. You're seeing who you are. That could be challenging as well. But 
there's a lot of recognition here of wanting change and just like, I need to get up and do it kind of energy. Again, that Queen of Swords energy I felt. Give me more on this Three of Wands. Give me more on this Three of Wands. So Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and Ace of Swords. So again, working towards, so to me, you're still working through the emotions of this past energy here. And you're still guarded. This is why I say this Three of Wands in this deck is partnership and alliance. But when it comes to your partnerships, you're still detached. Seven of Wands. Because you're still trying to figure things out, Ace of Swords. You're still getting clarity. So, like I said, it feels very non-committal. But who knows where these things may take you. I mean, each is own, right? You're in this King of Wands energy. Some of you really are probably sleeping around. Um, enjoying yourself, flirting, just doing things. Um, but each his own, right? Give me more of the Three of Cups. <sighs> Judgment, Ace of Cups. I mean, this may be the tower. This may mean that you might connect with someone for sure. This new love, for some of you, this can become something. So you have, you have a water sign here, another water sign here, Pisces. So you could be dealing with another water sign, definitely fire sign because you're, this person seems very, um, I think energetically because it's so fresh. I don't, I'm not seeing a king yet, just a king of cups, but I feel this is you. I just feel like you have a sexual attraction and connection with someone, um, but it can progress to something very you know, um, romantic it feels, but with the judgment here, I feel like you're being very careful. Give me more of this judgment. I'm hearing one foot in, one foot out. Give me more of this judgment. <laughs> uh I'm telling you, Scorpio, judgment. This is why I'm hearing one foot in, one foot out. Five of wands, nine of swords, page of wands. You're not about the conflict. So it's like you're there. But if anything triggers these emotions or it triggers you on a, on a, like, I feel like you can, I feel like you could emotionally get elevated with these wands energy real quick where you're like, if it puts me in this nine of swords, I'm out. And... This is this is the challenge to this these connections, which is why when we're there, that that's how we learn about ourselves because the nine the nines are the the nines are the hermit energy. And being in the nine of swords from the hermit energy means you're not necessarily ready, like you haven't really molded yourself in this wisdom and knowledge and understanding you're still doing that here with the hierophant right um but this is how you learn right and it's through relationships we learn so give me more on this three of pentacles knight of cups you know you're gonna date you're gonna do it nine of cups a lot of you are just entertain you know you're you're excited for this new change you do see potential here with this person here knight of cups nine of cups and the empress so there's definitely potential here with your person um you could be dealing with a libra but a lot of you are waiting the hangman are still resistant two of wands two of swords they're still resistant so you're just, it, it's so fresh. You know, you're appreciating your person. You're still guarded here. I feel still detached from the connection because at the same time, you're still emotionally, because the three of cups are about emotions with the ace of cups, emotionally one foot in, one foot out because you're still trying to figure out emotionally because there are still energies from the past. It doesn't necessarily mean you're not open to your person, to this new love. It just means that, you know, you're seeing things and, you know, they're, you're not, you're not 100% there. This could be your person now, right? Where you feel your person who's not 100%. You feel their energy that they feel one foot in, one foot out. You know, guys put where the shoe fits, but I'm just reading the energies right now. 
but let's see what your blockages are. What are the blockages for Scorpio? What are the blockages? Avoidance, avoiding the truth and empath. Your extra sensitive soul is both a blessing and a curse. So I feel like a lot of you are still this. Oh, <laughs> all right. Let me take a deep breath for this one. Let me slow down. Because the energies are coming in so so quickly. I've just recorded two other readings. So, Scorpio, you know how I said, I feel like you guys are in this queen of swords where you're just kind of numbing your emotions about this past energy. And there is, right? There is a part of you not being able to fully connect or your person not able to fully connect is because they're avoiding the truth of the past. Some of you are very empathic. Your person may be empathic. And that's why, you know, it's like they were taken advantage of. And now they're very much in this seven of wands energy. Um, because they're not emotionally like 100% ready. Or you're not 100% ready. Because you're still figuring things out. But um, again... We have to work on seeing the truth, which is this the reason we have that detached energy is because we have to work on this seeing the truth with the Ace of Swords to really end the clearing of this energy. But as long as we avoid, we're still going to be triggered, right, with this energy here. If things trigger us, because as an empath, if, if we're not fully healed, we'll get like our sensitive souls will get triggered and, you know, we'll react. So obviously I can understand the discernment, but there's a lot that still needs to be worked through, I feel, within this connection. So definitely divine timing here. Um, divine timing is at work in your love life. So this is kind of, I feel this is just an energy you've got to process. You know, these are things you've got to, yeah. I mean, your life force, look at this. With the threes here, all the threes is the empress. So your passion, there is a burning fire inside of you waiting to come out. Something's trying to come out here. Um, time to get creative and work on what brings you joy and happiness. Doing what you love will give you energy and will attract like-hearted people to you. And I feel this is why you have to kind of be careful because I also feel like, it, it also feels like, um, if you go in too quickly, then you may not be able to accomplish other things. And I feel like you can't let that part of you also go, Scorpio. So you have to give yourself time to experience more of this burning um, desire for change and let it reignite you. Um, but what I'm feeling is that this connection also is helping with that um please use it wisely uh because I, I don't like to always say that like i don't like to feed into that kind of like it almost feels like using people so do be mindful i don't feel like this person is a bad person um or you are a bad person <laughs> whoever's engaging in this behavior i just think that there is a resolving of emotions that remains and it's one of those things they're getting through um, because we have such positive cards here of how they view you and how you view each other. If, if anything mutual here, then it shows a lot of like potential with this person for sure. Um, but it's all going to depend on the state and how you're willing to face truths to get through what you, what are blockages for you. Again, the seven of wands and what's causing some level of de detachment and what's causing this like one foot in one foot out kind of energy when it comes to your emotions um all right so let's pull one more guidance and one more guidance for scorpio please self-love yeah i've spent so long outside of my body that i've forgotten how soft and strong she really was she welcomes me back with open arms and reminds me that I always have a home. And again, in this reigniting, you have to love yourself. Like you have to learn your emotional um, health first in order for you to really open up again. So this feels like a dual 
kind of effect here. It also feels like a lesson. And of course, if you're empathic, then of course you have a lot of love in your heart, Scorpio. So it's a process. As always, the soul's evolution is a process. So Scorpio, I love you. I'm gonna leave it right there. Please like, share, subscribe, click that bell button if you enjoy my frequency.